awesome. Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So here I am again with another video. Um, this video is of a little semi-realistic, I guess, less semi-realistic, more realistic piece. I just found this picture, I think it was on Instagram, I can't even remember, but I thought it was really pretty and I wanted to draw it, so I did. <laughs> um, you can see this piece on my Instagram, Russian Mango 04. Russian Mang 04. Link will be in the description. Go check it out. Um, anyways, I've had this topic that I've wanted to talk about for a little while, and that is is there any perfect art supply? And being someone who owns both Prismacolors and Copics and Jelly Rolls and other art supplies that artists on YouTube will praise to high heaven about. Um, I wanted to give my side on it. Um, now after using Prismacolors for a bit, um, I just started using them and really experimenting with them more recently. I've come to realize that, yes, they're nice, but they aren't perfect. <laughs> like any art supply, of course. Um, I don't believe that there can be a perfect art supply. Um, Prismacolors are good for some things. I think they're less like colored pencils and more like pastels, if anything. Um, they lay down very waxy. They, it's just thick. There's lots of pigment. It's, it just reminds me more of me using pastels rather than a colored pencil. The only downside I can see about using Prismacolors over pastels is that there's no drying phase with Prismacolors, so there gets to a point where you literally just cannot layer anymore. But anyways, enough of my critique about Prismacolors that I have come to realize after initially trying them. Um, there's also, like, Copics. Um, people think Copics are absolutely the best. It's the brand. The brand is absolutely amazing. You gotta get the brand. It's gotta be this brand. So does brand really matter? Is kind of what I'm saying. Which I'm gonna say no. Um, Copics, while I have noticed that they're really nice and I, I love using them, um, it's just a pain after they dry out. Um, I've had trouble finding any refills for them. Um, uh, I've tried many brands, as you've probably seen. I haven't done many Copic videos and marker videos in a while, but there are going to be, there is going to be at least one, <laughs> at least one coming soon. It's in the works. Um, I started a piece recently with them, so keep your eyes peeled. But, um, yeah, um, I have many, 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 many different kinds of markers and such. So I use all these markers like interchangeably. I have Spectrum Noirs, I have Ohuhus, which I don't always like using because I need to have a sheet around to be able to tell what color I'm even using. But um, yeah, I can talk about that some other time. And also I have Windsor and Newton brush markers. So I have a very wide range of markers that are like Copics and I use them interchangeably. I think that while Copics are nice and they're comfortable to hold, there isn't much making them all that much better than other side brands besides the fact that you can refill them. So I'm going to say no, there is not a perfect art supply. It really depends on who you are and what you enjoy. I know a lot of people will praise Prismacolors, they'll, they'll never use anything else. But it really all depends on who you like, like who you are as an artist at the at that point in time. I remember I watched a video 
forever because I can't even remember who it was, but it was a girl saying why I stopped using Prismacolors. And she did say some of the complaints that I did say today as to why she stopped using them. But Prismacolors did work for her for a while. It's just, we go come and go in phases. Um, in my art class, I'm always using different art supplies. One day I'll be like, oh, I don't, I don't feel like using colored pencils today, which I normally do use colored pencils because I just enjoy them. Um, and I'll be like, hey, I want to use inks today. So I'll get out my little ink pot and I'll start doing washes. Or I'll get out a pen and I'll start hatching. Or I'll just get out a pencil and just start shading like that. But I've fallen in love with color, so I don't do pencils all that much anymore. <laughs> um, but it really depends on who you are as an artist on what the the right supply is for you at that point in time um i i am willing to try any supply at least a couple of times um i have been working with pastels recently um on some portraits of my guinea pigs actually i really hope to do some videos with them in the future let me know in the comments if you want to see those, because I love them. And I'd love to, to show you guys them, because they're adorable. And I love them. They're my babies. But, yeah, I've been working with pastels, and that's been interesting. Um, I haven't worked with pastels. I worked with them, like, last week, actually. But before that, I hadn't worked out on them until or since the beginning of last semester. So, it's been a while. But I did want to kind of go back to them and use them some more. And of course, there was a point in time, I'm kind of not in that phase at the moment, but I was using alcohol markers all the time. And I have not been using them recently. So it's, I wouldn't say that you should buy the most expensive art supply just because it's the most expensive and you think you need the best to make art. Buy which, whatever you need for the time being. Um, because who says you're, number one, if it's a new product, who says you're even going to like it? Number two, um, I think as artists, we do tend to come and go in phases. We, we go into a phase and then we come out of it. There's tons of different, even if you look at an art, uh, and look at an art, oh my god. <laughs> you look at an artist. Um, we had a visiting artist at my school recently. Um, and he showed some of his work, and through his art, he was showing ceramic work. I could see growth in his work, and I could see different phases of art and different techniques that he was using. While all his supplies really stayed the same, when you're a ceramicist, that's kind of how it is. And it's kind of how it is if you're a painter in some ways, too. But, yeah. Anyways, um, I do have some other topics that I kind of thought of during this video that I don't think would be appropriate to fit into, just squeeze into this video, and I'll fit it into a video all of its own later. Um, and that would be, I want to talk about just drawing in general and the importance of drawing no matter what your focus is. Like if you're doing abstract drawings and stuff, or abstract paintings is what I meant. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me, if, let me know what your favorite art supplies are. Um, I, I'm always open to trying new ones. I feel like I am at a point in my development artistically that I just want to try everything and anything. Um, um... I had a video that should be posted by now that is all about me trying watercolors again after trying them and failing miserably. <laughs> so it's nice to have some success after that, of course, but I'm really at a point where I want to experiment. So let me know what kind of things you like, what kind of brands you like. Maybe I can check them out. Um, 
the comments, leave a like, let me know, I might post a poll on this video, um, do you think there's a perfect art supply? Do you think there's any art supply out there that is absolutely perfect that you would recommend to anyone no matter who they are? Um, if you want to see more from me, I, I would really appreciate the, the subscribe. If you want to keep on top of that, please hit that bell. Um, very small at the moment. I'm on six of you who I have right now. Bless you. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you've been watching my videos, thank you so much for keeping up with them. And yeah, I'll see you next time. I'm going to be definitely trying to keep on my schedule. I'm sorry I've been off of it. Um, I've had a lot of work recently, so I've been stressed and busy. But I haven't had any time to do art or even edit my videos of art that I had done. So, yeah, I've been a little bit behind. Sorry about that. But, yeah. Talk to you guys later. Bye!